And we'll get started, soles of our feet together, knees out wide. Oops, before we do that, you guys go ahead and get started with your bolsters and your blocks if you'd like to. I'll just bring the gong. direction from the tops of your throats down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies, as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your heart to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, Two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual and it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale. 
and one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale, those knees and arms to center. Exhale as you roll over onto your right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come up to a seated position facing the front of the room. Sit back on your bolster if you like to so that you're elevated. Flex your feet. Again, we're moving into Dandasana. The crowns of our heads are directly above our root chakras right now. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale as you open up to the right. Shoulders back and down. And then drag that left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Make mudras with both sets of fingers. Again, it's always possible to place your elbow in between your knees or on the left side of your knees. Wherever you are is perfect. Again, we're opening our hearts to the side wall through the breath. Opening up those right obliques. Breathing in and out. In twisted dandasana. Slowly inhale back to center and exhale as you open up to the left. Shoulders back and down. Drag that right elbow on the outside of your left knee. Make mudras with both sets of fingers. Again, you can be here. You can place that elbow in between your knees or on the right side of your knee. Open up those left obliques and smile. It's Tuesday, gorgeous day out. Unfortunately, it is very hot. I wish that it had stayed as cool as it was last week. Slowly inhale, back to center, keep those feet flexed, losing my necklace, and then exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 flat back as far as you can, this feels so good, place your hands on either side of your calves, inhale halfway up. Shoulders are back and down, and then exhale as you drag yourselves towards your thighs. Again, chin to shin, and then just curl in wherever you can. Again, you can have a bolster on your thighs, 
You can have a block in between your calves if this helps on whichever level you'd like to. Make sure that you're comfortable. We're here for three minutes. And again, opening up that fascia takes three minutes to do so through the breath. As you breathe in, find where there's resistance in the body. As you breathe out, breathe that resistance out. And smile, it's Tuesday. over halfway there so if you found some space to move into do so now Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend that left knee, dragging your left heel in. Flex your right foot, sit up straight. Inhale both arms all the way up. 
and exhale as you fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 we're going all the way down into half dandasana. Again, breathing in and out. And smile, it's Tuesday. So grateful that all of you are here today. So grateful that I have gotten to Chapel Hill and back. It was a big trip, but a wonderful trip. As you all know, Adik's just got a PhD in health uh, policy and administration. And so anyway, sounds pretty impressive. And of course, her sister had to create an Instagram video of her growing up and doing all the silliest things as she was growing up. Has a video of Actually, Anik's doing gymnastics, which was really cute. I don't know where she found that when she was probably six years old and a lot of other things. But one of the things, them dancing in London, singing a silly Spice Girls song and just in their room together. And it's really fun to see how how this happens, that these kids are able to um, move forward and obviously having enormous tragedy in someone's life, I believe, really turns them into someone who wants to be able to do as much good as possible in the world. That's all that Arix wants is to be able to help, um, especially in Africa and Asia and <clears throat> and she has a position with the w with who which is very exciting so she's definitely following in her grandfather's footsteps inhale as you walk those hands back again exhale as you draw that right knee to your left knee Twist to the back of the room. Place your hands on either side of your bolster. Inhale first. And exhale. As you walk your hands forward, placing that right cheek on the block. Again, in a full body twist. <clears throat> Twisting your hips, your spines, your shoulders, and your necks. <clears throat> She'll be going back to Kinshasa for a month in August, but before that, with WHO, she's going to be <clears throat> meeting in Abidjan, in the Ivory Coast, which is where my husband spent, I think, 12 years of his life. So we may go with her, not to bother her, but just to visit. And that's in June. So. We're very excited.
slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. And exhale as you extend your legs and shake them out. Good job. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend your right knee, drawing your right heel in. Flex that left foot. Inhale both arms all the way up. And exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 tell you, hiking is sometimes very dangerous, and um, I guess it's kind of cool to be able to say that you broke your wrist and two fingers hiking instead of on your kitchen floor, but unfortunately I know how frustrating that can be when you are doing so well in yoga, and I know that she's just so great in yoga and so consistent and so let's send lots of love and healing to Alice today. I know she'll be great. I know that she'll heal, that she'll be fine. I should have asked her who her doctor was, or her surgeon was, because mine was fabulous. And I hope she had the same person. But I will, um, I'll reach out to her now. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend your left knee, drawing it to your right knee. Twist to the back of the room. Place your hands on either side of your bolster. Inhale first and exhale as you walk your hands forward. Placing that left cheek on the block. Again, in a full body twist, this should feel really good. Dragging your hearts down towards the mat. Breathing in and out.
bit slowly. Inhale as we walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend your legs. Shake them out. Stay up on your bolster. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend that left knee, placing your toes underneath your hip crease. Flex your right foot. If you'd like to, you can be on your bellies and bend that left knee and grab on with your left hand. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale as you place your hands behind you with your fingertips facing your hips. <clears throat> Again, you can either be here, you can start to move down onto your elbows if this is in your practice. And again, make sure that your head doesn't pop back, keep your neck safe. Or you can move all the way down onto your backs in hero. So this is half hero, maybe even draw those arms up overhead. Opening up that thigh. If your knee is popping up, you've gone down too far. And remember, all of our athletes who are doing yoga today have a harder time getting down on their backs because that muscle is so tight. And it's completely understandable. So be gentle with yourselves, go to wherever you can. And again, it's always possible to do this on your bellies. Really important to stretch out that thigh muscle. Let's slowly inhale as you press your elbows into the mat, coming up to a seated position. Exhale as you extend that left leg. Inhale first. Exhale as you bend your right knee. Again, placing your toes underneath your sit bone. You can also be on your bellies. Flex that foot. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale as you draw your hands behind you. Fingertips are facing your hips. And again, you can stay here. You can move down onto those elbows. Make sure that your knee doesn't pop up. Or you can move all the way down onto your backs. Wherever you are is perfect. Maybe draw those arms up overhead. Breathing in and out. Again, if you're on your bellies, you can also use a strap if you can't um, reach your ankle. And this is especially important when we're doing full hero. It might be difficult to reach both ankles. Straps are very useful. The three things, actually four things that are really important to have during yoga practice is your mat, obviously. A block is essential. A bolster and a strap. (laughs) 
Slowly inhale as you press those elbows into the mat, coming up to a seated position, and then exhale as you extend that right leg. Shake it out. Good job. Now wherever you are, either on your bellies or on your, uh, on your rear ends, on your buttocks, inhale first and exhale as you bend both knees. Coming into full hero. And again, inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale as you draw your arms behind you, fingertips face your hips. You can stay here. You can move down onto your elbows. You can move down onto your backs. And you can also draw those arms up overhead if you'd like to. In the Uchita in hero. Breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as you press your elbows into the mat, coming up to a seated position. Exhale as you extend both legs and shake them out. From here, come up to the tops of your mats in Sukhasana. Place your bolster in front of you. Job. Let's express gratitude first. Our crowns are directly above our root chakra. And again, I want you to imagine those different colors of those chakras, your sacral, which is a deep red, solar plexus, beautiful yellow, heart chakra, green. Throat chakra, blue, third eye chakra, indigo, and the crowns of our heads, ultraviolet. Mm. We're going to be imagining those as we inhale our arms all the way up. Inhale, gratitude. Exhale, release anything that doesn't serve you. Inhale, those arms all the way up. And exhale, release whatever doesn't serve you. One last time. that right, arm, or right foot up on top of your left thigh. We're in half lotus. Exhale first. Inhale those arms all the way up. And exhale. As you fold forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. Fingertips come down, hearts come down. Breathing in and out. Humbly bowing, half lotus. Maybe place your third eye on the mat or your bolster, rocking it back and forth, opening your intuition.
slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk them to the right, grabbing onto your right knee with your left hand. Bring that right hand back or rock forward and take a bind. Again, inbound half lotus, opening your hearts to the side wall through the breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you release that right foot. Inhale that left foot up on top of your right thigh. Or in half lotus. Inhale both arms all the way up. And exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips, reach, 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 reach. Fingertips down, hearts come down, maybe your third eye comes down, rocking it back and forth. Wherever you are is perfect. onto the left knee with your right hand. Bring that left hand back or possibly rock forward and take a bind again in bound half lotus. Drag those shoulders back and down. back to center. Exhale as you release your leg. And then from here, place your hands on the mat and roll up into table. Again, in table, our shoulders are above our wrists, our hips are above our knees. We're going to go ahead and curl our toes under. Inhale first. Exhale back to our first and only Ardha Mukha Shavasana, Downward Facing Dog. Again, maybe walking the dog, dragging our hearts towards our thighs, planting that area between your index finger and thumb into the mat to take the pressure off of your wrists. Inhale that right leg all the way up, three-legged dog split. And exhale as you drag it to the top left of your mat. Right knee down, left knee down, left top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Maybe take Venus Mudra, but I, since it's yin, I don't think that anybody really wants to. Don't feel like you have to. You can walk those hands forward and exhale as you humbly bow yourselves. Coming down on that left cheek, if this is in your practice. Again, if you have taken Venus Mudra, make sure that you draw your wrist back towards your waist before you release. And again, you can be on your left cheek, you can be on your elbows, you can be on your right cheek. You can be on your backs as well. 
wherever you are is perfect. In resting pigeon, again, releasing any unwanted emotions that you may be storing on that right hip. Keeping your hip from becoming brittle and breaking later on. Allowing us to keep our balance as we get older as well. One of the most healing positions in yoga. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Coming up on that right hip, swing that left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to your right thigh. Bring that right foot in and that right elbow in. Inhale that left arm up and around. Find that right hip crease. Maybe take a bind if this is in your practice. In the Mariandrasana twist. Again, breathing in and out. And smile, it's Tuesday. Slowly release both legs as you inhale, shake it out, and then come up to the tops of your mats in Malasana, Yogi Squat. Again, backs of your biceps are just below your knees. Lift your toes if you can. All four corners of your feet are growing into the earth. Draw your pelvis bone in, shoulders back and down. Inhale from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra and exhale down again. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Place your hands on the mat. Inhale halfway up to Arda. Take a giant step back with your right foot. Walk that left foot all the way across. Left knee down, right knee down, right top of foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Again, you can take Venus Mudra if you'd like to. Don't feel like you have to and exhale down. Placing that right cheek on the mat. But wherever you are is perfect. Again, make sure that you draw those wrists back to you, waist before you release. Keep your shoulders safe. And smile, it's Tuesday. Inhale as you walk those hands back. Coming off on your left hip, swing your right leg all the way around. Right foot is parallel to your left thigh. Bring that left foot in and that left elbow in. Inhale that right arm up and around. Find that left hip crease. Possibly take a bind if this is in your practice. Again, Mariandrasana twist. Opening your hearts to the back of the room through the breath. Inhale back to center. Extend your legs and shake them out. And then bend your knees. Arms are out on either side of your knees. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch. Vertebra by vertebra. Down to the mat, and when you get there, draw those knees in for a much deserved hug. Rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Place your block 
first place your heels just below your sit bones. Place your block as you inhale underneath your sacrum on the highest second or third levels, wherever you are is perfect. And then if this is in your practice, walk those feet out in front of you. Draw your arms overhead in a T formation or a mushroom formation. Breathing in and out. Draw those arms back overhead, walk your feet in. Inhale as you push your hips up, release the block, place it on the lowest level, and inhale those legs straight up. Again, in legs straight up, allowing the circulation to come back down to your vital organs, back down to your brain. Flex those feet. as you bend your knees, placing your heels just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push your hips up, release the block, and exhale down. Good job. Draw those knees in for a hug. Cross that right leg over left, wrap your feet, arms out east and west. Inhale first, exhale down to the left. Look over your right shoulder. back to center, unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. Then cross that left leg over right, wrap your feet, arms are out east and west, inhale first, exhale down to the right, look over your left shoulder and breathe. Twisting out any remaining toxins that you may have. Inhale back to center, unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. Inhale through your noses, side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso, palms are up to receive, down to ground, starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles, relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs, relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads. Relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. 
Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste. Thank you all. So great to see you. Let me go ahead. Thanks for being here, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, let me stop the recording.